Today is February 29th, a day that only comes once every four years. It's a rare day. In fact, the probability of your birthday being on leap day is 0.07%. Leap day only comes every 1,461 days. And yet, no one really appreciates it, but I think it's cool. So what better way to spend this timely holiday than opening a time capsule that I sent to myself annually for the last eight years? And with that, here's a brief message from the past. How fast does a year pass you by? It's been a year since I last wrote an email to my future self, and this is something I've been doing for 8 years. My 13 year old self emailed my 14 year old self, my 15 year old self emailed my 16 year old self. I want to read you all 8 of the emails I've written to the future. When time slips you by so fast, it's hard not to get caught up when the new year's rolls around about where you were this time last year, and where you expect to be by this time next year. So I send myself these little time capsules, I record every day of my life, and I journal my progress because you never know what the next year is going to bring with it. With that being said, let's jump to an email that I sent to my future self from one year ago. This letter from January 2023 is being opened in January 2024, all the way up until the letter from my 13 year old self in 2016. Dear future me, write a video about these emails while you're at it. You filmed yourself opening it this year on January 1st, 2023. These last 365 days have taught me a lot, as they usually do. I don't think I really understood myself until this school year when a lot of my character was brought out by things that have been out of my control, for better or for worse. I won't read every bit of this email, it'll take forever. Hope my grades are better this semester and find a balanced schedule between YouTube and schoolwork that is healthy and effective. That part actually hits me pretty hard because I think I finally realized what I want out of YouTube. In my brain, YouTube is as important as work and school because I love doing it so much that I truly believe it keeps me sane and I've said that in previous videos too. YouTube Shorts is where I'd like to invest some of my time with the next year. This one's really funny because since I've sent this email, I made 150 YouTube Shorts on this channel. I hope this finds you well and that you're going into 2024 with great people, new ambitions, and a healthy mind. But as I start to show you the earlier email, they mean a lot to me because I think I manifested and readjusted my life to exactly what I wanted and almost exactly what I have right now. So. Can I be honest? I want to be honest. As I sit here in my college apartment eating chicken, cheese, lettuce, onion, and ketchup on a roll with a plastic plate because all of our nice plates are dirty right now, I'm taking a look at my channel and I'm questioning why I didn't put that like day whatever in the corner of every thumbnail. This feels so abundantly clear to be doing right now. This right here, this one right here, this one here on my birthday. And now that I'm gonna be focusing on making little time capsule pieces like this, I'm looking at this guy's channel. He made these two videos, they're absolutely great and it's a photo every day for 12 and a half years, being posted just six years after his video about taking a photo of himself every day for six years. And this is some of the earliest YouTube that I watched. If anyone is familiar with the way that Casey Neistat organizes his video catalog, he keeps every bit of raw footage that he has ever filmed, separates it by year, month, week, day. But a combination of the way that Casey stores his videos and the fact that this is one of the earliest YouTube videos I've watched definitely inspired this everyday project. And now that this guy is uploading videos after almost two decades of being on the platform silent but viral, his thumbnails are literally just the day's date. And I really like how Noah kind of captures it. Boom, your boy has a backpack. Stop playing with me. His bag is bigger than this. <laughs> Where's the old guy? <laughs> Doug! Yo, wait, there's Doug. He's a living animal and he's in a bag. Free my boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, get it done. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> On bag three, it's your boy Doug! Get free! Get free! Let's go! So here's me opening the annual future me letter from last year and the year prior. I feel like I should react to my future me email. Oh my god. 
A letter from January 2nd, 2022. 2021 has been a roller coaster of emotions, the good, the bad, the great, and the ugly. But as I reflect on the last year, I like to write this time capsule to look back on. Last time I set a goal, I didn't hit it, but I also didn't work as hard as I planned to do in 2022. Let me know how that went. There you go. I'm also very proud of what I did in 2022, just mentally and in terms of videos. School had kicked me hard in the first semester. Super fun, eventful, big school, always busy. But being close to people is difficult in such a large school. I have a lot of friends, but I know I shouldn't compare them to my friends at home who I've known for eight plus years. This is the seventh yearly email I've done, and with the days starting to This is the seventh yearly email I've done, and the days start coming and they don't stop coming. I just, I smash mouth myself there. When you read this, you'll be into your, you'll be over a thousand days into your project. Congratulations for sticking with it. The last few years have brought my highest highs and my lowest lows. It's not easy, but I know having the bad days are needed to appreciate the good ones. So live it and learn and time will tell. Best wishes in the new year. Take it easy. Michael, January 2022. <laughs> I've done this for seven years and every time it still catches me off guard. It's so easy to say like I was naive last year, but I didn't know what this last year would have in store for me. I'm really proud of what I'd done in the last year. And I know I'll be able to look back and say the same about 2023. So here's to a year of just <laughs> doing your thing. And here I'll just speed run the email I got on New Year's Day 2022. 2020 was absolutely wild and I can't wait to see what my videos look like during the second year of the decade long project. I guess if there's one thing to look back on this year, I want to know how COVID is going. Luckily it's not an everyday thought anymore. I hope by now you're able to live on college campus after graduating high school and I'm very excited to graduate, even more excited to be on campus. I made 19 videos this year and I'm hoping that I could match that. I recently finished watching Breaking Bad. What are the odds that I'm still obsessed with the show? one year later. You're still obsessed with that show four years later, so yeah. I'm starting to feel like these future me emails get outdated very quick, but I guess that's the point of capturing the time I have. It feels like now that I'm taking a video every day of my life, these emails are just a drop in the bucket when it comes to snapshotting each point of my life. I don't know how this 10 year project will look like at the end of 2021, and I'm sure it's not how I expected them to come out by this point. Today is officially the 366th day of this project, and the 10% mark of its completion. At the time, I was only aiming to record every day of my life for 10 years. Now I don't really see if there's an end. This is what I love doing, and even though I'm up to day 1500 right now, something like that, and I still have another, I don't know, 1700 to go. I'm really excited and almost more excited than I was on day 366 when I sent this email. I pretty much then talk about how I got new games for Christmas, what my view counts and subscriber counts looked like at the time so that I can compare them. But I ended the email by saying, after everything that happened this year, I just want to pick up my feet and keep moving. Best wishes, Michael from January 1st, 2021. Something I realized recently is that I'm coming down to really my last year of college. And this might be just the freest period I have in my life before I become a full adult. I turn 21 in a couple months. I graduate college in a little more than a year. And for the same reason that I film every day and for the same reason that I make these videos to look back on, I want to remember and get the most out of my time. Even if, you know, sometimes it's just a relaxing day. Sometimes it's a work day. Sometimes I'm working on videos. But I'm really happiest when I'm working on videos. It's the same reason and why delaying this video got me anxious about the future. Time is passing by really fast and it's hard not to feel like I'm not using my time wisely, but in terms of making videos, this is the most time I'll have to do that for a while, in a while, for a while. And I wanna be able to make the most of it. So 2024, I wanna make more long form videos, even if people don't watch to the same point that you're at now, but I'm really enjoying this and I'm having a lot of fun. And if I wanna grow this channel and my second channel, this is the last year I could really put my foot on the gas and film college while I'm still here. My letter from the past sent to 2021 talks about how I was typing the email 12 hours into the new decade. All I can think about is how I'll accomplish the goal of recording a few minutes of video every day for the rest of this decade. Hopefully by the time you're reading this, you're 10% done with your goal at this point. Knowing how you are, you'll commit to it. And if you didn't, well, then the Michael from the past is very disappointed. I talk about what videos I published during that year. And I talked about how I wanted to record more so I would have more to look back on, which I think since then, 
I have successfully done for over a thousand days. I ask if I'm still posting daily on Instagram, which at that point I did for 156 days. I since gave up on that project in place of the Film Every Day project. And I have a short paragraph about talking about how I hope I find myself, how I want to act, what I want to do, who I want to be, and Hopefully that I was in college and working towards something bigger than that. The final line of that paragraph stating, man, did that time go fast. At the point of me reading this, the email is already four years old. I even added a final paragraph about breaking out of my shell and wanting to become the best version of me, and I think I'm doing a lot better, and concluded by saying I'm looking forward to the next decade. Hope all is well and off to a great start. I know you'll do something great. Michael from January 2020. Recently, I've watched, you know, actually, I'm going to move over so I could, like, edit something here. Recently, I watched Through My Eyes, which is a film about a guy who was really trying to just, in short, find his way around his life, film every day of his life, and then build a story around it, which is exactly what I'm trying to do, but he did it when these camcorders were the main source of filming. It wasn't a big camera that everyone had, it wasn't an iPhone in the highest quality, it was these little digital cameras. Look, what I'm trying to explain to you is Noah's work of taking a photo every day inspired me to do this project here. That one video of the guy talking to his past self, he puts the VHS into the TV and talks to it as like it's a live conversation, is something that also inspired me to do something like that. The way Casey Neistat organizes his storage is how I organized the last terabyte and a half of my life, or 13 years really. And now that I'm doing this everyday project and I'm actually doing it, I really want to put something into it that makes it my own. Everyone I just listed has their own little traits, their specialty, and I think I'm still looking for mine. How many days has it been since January 1st, 2020? It was 1,485 days ago. Today is January 25th, 2024, and uh, take it easy, future me. The letter I received from my past self in January 2019 talked about how I was hopeful about moving to a new house. I was in the middle of moving, and for some reason took note that PewDiePie is at 79 million subscribers, cause I guess that's a piece of history that I wanted to compare. I asked if Kanye or Oprah actually ended up running for president, which to nobody's surprise didn't actually happen, and I set my resolutions to be drink more water, take a single photo a day, which I don't think I really kept up with that year, and changed my style in terms of clothing and how I want to express myself going forward which feels like it aged like a fine wine. I don't know why, but I ended this email saying, anyways, thanks for being a rad guy. Good luck in 2020. And finally, the letter that I received from my past self on January 1st, 2018, from when I was just 13 years old, reads that this is the third letter that I've sent annually. I talk about how I just started a side channel that I ended up abandoning. I talked about the fact that I had 1,700 subscribers. I had just got a new camera, I was setting new YouTube goals and different goals for school, and I also just got the Nintendo Switch, to which I asked myself, did the new generation of Smash Bros come out? I mentioned that I have a letter in my drawer that says, do not open until 2019, which I ended up opening and pretty much found the equivalent of these future me emails, but in physical form. I don't know where that paper is anymore, but knowing me, I'm sure I kept it somewhere. And the best part about this email, if you plan on making a video about this, which I know you are because I know how you think, you may want to start it with, I always look forward to what the future has in store for me, but I like to capture what's happened in the past. And that concludes all the emails that I really wanted to share with you. Time passes really fast and having a little snapshot of time from my past self when I was more naive and 13, 14, 15 years old, where I'm now almost 21 years old. It's something I really appreciate the fact that I can look back on. Like I still, I'm still filming every day and I do have content or as you know, little vlogs and clips that I want to share. So I think I'm just going to have to do that during the week, do shorts, and then spend my Friday morning slash like the weekends just editing Bloom Films. And whenever that comes out, it comes out because Bloom Films is a creative project for me. I kind of like need to do it for my own sanity because I like, no, I love posting. I'm okay with that if it means that all my creativity can still funnel into my channel. It may have a different value prop for the viewer but it has a different value in my life and um you know what i'm gonna film this voiceover with my camera and you'll see it in the next video